And before I throw this open for a wider discussion with our guests from the Congress and the BJP, joining me on India First is Kanchan Gupta, Senior Advisor to the Ministry of Information on Broadcasting on Rahul Gandhi's report card and claims overseas. Kanchan Gupta, why have you called Rahul Gandhi's claims that opposition is being silenced in India baseless and egregious lies? Well, uh, I have demonstrated with data uh, which is publicly available and which is uh, from, the, uh, from Parliament's own database to demonstrate that uh, Rahul Gandhi is being uh, uh, untruthful when he claims that uh, I, neither he nor his uh, opposition colleagues are allowed to speak in Parliament. So the whole purpose was to prove that uh, uh, pa parliament functions, debates happen, discussions happen, and disprove uh, Rahul Gandhi's uh, allegation that uh, voices are silenced and he is not allowed to speak or opposition MPs are not allowed to speak. Okay. It needed to be done because he, he has leveled all these fanciful, fanciful allegations from foreign soil to a foreign audience, which is uh, uh, unaware of uh, how uh, Parliament of India functions, which is unaware of Rahul Gandhi's own uh, uh, participation or lack of it in parliamentary proceedings, and which is unaware of uh, uh, his own, uh, you know, dismal record uh, as an MP. Okay. So I'll just come to Rahul Gandhi's uh, record in a moment. But how is Rahul Gandhi defaming India if he's targeting either Prime Minister Narendra Modi or the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh? No, Rahul Gandhi, I'm sorry. When he says that, uh, 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 that opposition is not allowed to speak in Parliament, my, my, my thing is just limited to Parliament House and, and Parliament proceedings. When he says okay. that opposition is not allowed to speak, that mics are turned off. When were mics turned off? Okay. Whenever uh, the opposition goes into a throes of fit, marches into the well of the house, starts hurling uh, uh, papers at the chair, uh, th th that is the time when cameras are turned off and obviously mics are also turned off. Now that is part of, the, uh, of Parliament's own rules. The only time a mic was really turned off was, was when leader of opposition L.K. Advani rose to speak in reply to something which the Congress had said. And Sonia Gandhi gestured at Meera Kumar, who was the speaker and who was presiding over the proceedings. Meera Kumar instructed L.K. Advani's mic to be turned off. In my living memory, that is the only time this happened. Apart from the time when, uh, when uh, the division of uh, Andhra Pradesh bill was uh, passed in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in total chaos in the Rajya Sabha. But sir, on the aspect of opposition being silenced in India, Rahul Gandhi is not the only one saying that you know, agencies are being misused by the government. Nine opposition parties have written a similar complaint. In fact, they're making the same point of misuse of agencies. Rahul Gandhi, of course, says that uh, organizations like the Sangh are now making inroads in these, in these agencies. Well, we can discuss that issue at great length. Apart from the fact that it is not true. I mean, you know, happily, fortunately, luckily, the right to corruption is still not a fundamental right in India. And corruption is still not a benchmark to judge democracy in India. That if you do not act, act against corrupt politicians, if you do not act against corruption, then your freedom index, your democracy index zooms up. Or if you act against somebody charged with corruption, accused of corruption, then your freedom index and democracy index goes down. But 
Gaurav, that is an entirely separate issue. I can, I will be happy to discuss with you later. But today we are just focused on Rahul Gandhi denigrating, demeaning uh, Parliament of India, which is the living symbol of living democracy in India. He says uh, democracy is dead in India. And that is why entire sessions of Parliament pass without uh, Rahul Gandhi attending even for a single day. Just check out the data which I have put out. Okay. Yeah, you've put out the statistics uh, of... of um... 52% attendance of Rahul Gandhi versus 79% national average. But sir, what does Rahul Gandhi's attendance in parliament have to do with the concerns that he's raising on foreign soil that you describe as denigrating or defaming India? When you are not in parliament, you don't even know what is happening in parliament. You don't participate in debates and you say that I am not allowed to speak. Okay. How is Rahul Gandhi, in your view, you've written that he's like an errant schoolboy who's lying to his teacher after not doing his homework. Explain this, sir. I'm not interested. I'm not here to, uh, 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 you know, I'm not here as a windmill to the Don Quixote's of the world. They can tilt at me. I, I don't care. But I have just put out the data as it is, this data is irrefutable. It shows that Rahul Gandhi refuses to participate in parliamentary proceedings. He does a bunk. He doesn't raise questions, which he is entitled to. Unlike his fellow MPs from Kerala, all of whom are opposition MPs in parliament and who have a terrific track record of participating in parliament, unlike them, he does nothing. And yet he has the gumption to go and say that, oh, I am not allowed to speak or the opposition is not allowed to speak. Okay. Okay. For joining me here on India Today, Mr. Kanchan Gupta, many thanks.